भारतीय जनता पार्टी एम पी तेजस्वी सूर्या फाउंड हिमसेल्फ एम्ब्रॉयल इन कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी आफ्टर मीटिंग विद वोटर्स टू कैन अनएक्सपेक्टेड टर्न ड्यूरिंग वॉट वॉज इंटेंडेड एज अ मीट एंड ग्रीट सेशन सूर्या अब्रप्टली डिपार्टेड द वेन्यू स्पार्किंग आउट रेज अमॉन्ग द अटेंडीज Following this incident, aggrieved customers of the Sri Guru Raghavendra Cooperative Bank lodged a formal complaint with the Election Commission of India. The complaint targets several BJP leaders, including Tejasvi Surya, along with election officials. Hello and welcome. This is Akanksha, and you are watching HW News English. The backdrop to this development lies in a cooperative meeting held in Baswanguri where Surya faced questioning from the victims of Sri Guru Raghavendra Cooperative Bank financial scandal. A video circulating on social media captures the moment when incumbent Bangalore South MP Surya accompanied by his uncle MLA LA Ravi Subramanya faced heckling from the crowd. <laughs> The financial scandal in question dates back 4 years with approximately 8000 customers still awaiting compensation from the bank each having deposits exceeding rupees 5 lakh in response to the scandal the enforcement directorate launched an investigation and seized assets worth rupees 159 crore belonging to the bank subsequently the karnataka government transferred the case to the central bureau of investigation cbi As per reports Surya in his performance report claimed credit for the amendments to the deposits insurance and credit guarantee corporation act purportedly benefiting 98% of bank depositors nationwide however the aggrieved customers contest this claim labeling it as false let's discuss what was the complaint about aggrieved customers of the shri guru raghavendra cooperative bank have taken a significant step in response to recent altercation involved bjp's mp tejasvi surya they lodged a formal complaint with election commission of india on monday accompanied by congress mla ub venkatesh the complaint consisting of two pages was filed by three customers against three bjp leaders that is tejasvi surya his uncle ravi subramanya and local party official girish alongside poll officials from bangalore south constituency they demand stringent action in light of incident that occurred during the meeting organized by the bjp leaders on april 13 in basavanguri assembly constituency during the meeting the attendees raised concerns about the grievances of bank depositors remaining unaddressed Allegedly when Surya and Subramanya were questioned about this Girish reportedly attacked the depositors and seized the camera to prevent election staff from recording the events the complaint asserts that these actions were took place in the presence of election observers with assistant election officers allegedly covering up the incident and aiding the accused instead of documenting it The complainant expresses doubts about the impartiality of the officials who supported the BJP leader's action and calls for their removal from election duties. Let's discuss what was the whole cooperative bank scam about. The magnitude of this multi-crore scam estimated to be around rupees 2500 crore which came to light when the Reserve Bank of India that is RBI imposed withdrawal restrictions on the cooperative lender back in 2020. According to reports aggrieved customers out of 30000 depositors affected approximately 20000 whose deposits were below 5 lakh each received some respite through the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation DICGC insurance scheme however even those who had deposited more than rupees 5 lakh were only compensated up to rupees 5 lakh leaving their principal deposits in a limbo As per report by South First Harish V a disturbed customer present at Saturday's meeting shed light on the DICGC insurance scheme which traditionally covered up to rupees 1 lakh per depositor however the amendments now mandate disbursement of rupees 5 lakh within 90 days of bank closure providing relief to affected depositors Yet despite these measures approximately 10000 individuals constituting 80% of total deposited amount of rupees 2500 crore remained trapped in the ordeal 
After addressing the deposits covered under the DICGC scheme, a substantial sum of Rs 1,700 crore remains entangled with the bank. Complainants also emphasized that around 7,000 to 8,000 aggrieved customers are still awaiting for resolution of their deposits from the bank. Harish, speaking to South First, shed light on the sequence of events leading to the encounter. The Sahakara Samagama meeting aimed at addressing cooperative bank affairs, provided a platform for depositors to confront Surya and Ravi Subramanya regarding unfulfilled promises made ahead of 2023 assembly polls. Despite assurance to resolve concerns and secure fresh investments, depositors found themselves delusioned as promised solutions failed materialize post-election. South Force reports also suggest retired RBI officer K.N. Raghunath, who serves as the president of Sri Guru Raghavendra Cooperative Bank, revealed the personal toll of scandal gripping the institution. Having invested rupees 40 lakhs of his hard-earned money, Raghunath was waited for four and a half years for the compensation, receiving only rupees 5 lakh under the DICGC insurance scheme. Ranganath highlighted the dire consequences of prolonged ordeal, noting around 200 aggrieved customers have already passed away, with more lives risk in future. Despite mounting pressure and calls for accountability, Tejasvi, Surya remains steadfast in deflecting the blame, attributing the dispute to alleged interference by the Congress party. In a social media post, he accused the opposition for resorting to unhanded tactics in an attempt to undermine the BJP's gambling efforts. Will such an incident impact Tejasvi Surya's bid for the second term? Do let us know what you think in the comments. That's all for this news report. Till then, keep watching HW News English and download our app HW News Shorts for the latest news and updates. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shorts in just one minute and breaking news in just 50 words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.